Hey everyone, this is Slipwrecked. I'm a big Avatar fan, and we are about to watch Bringing the World to Life of Avatar The Last Airbender from Netflix. First of all, please subscribe and help the channel grow. Now, unfortunately, I've already seen this yesterday when it dropped. When I saw this, I was editing my first video for the series that I'm currently doing which is the entire book one of the original Avatar The Last Airbender which I'm re-watching right now leading up to the live action version. So if you're interested in that I invite you to watch along with me. The first video is already available and the second video is coming and each video has multiple episodes. Normally I would avoid more content about the live action Avatar The Last Airbender because I want to stay as as blind as possible because I don't want to get overexposed to so many of these scenes that they would no longer feel fresh when I finally see them in the actual show but this one I could not help myself but but click on it but yeah I've already seen this so we're just gonna watch it I guess so we're just gonna talk about some of my thoughts after the video I don't know where this will all lead but the one thing I do know is, I'm the Avatar. Yes, you are. The story of Avatar is an epic fantasy set in a world inspired by Asian folklore and legend. And the people of this world can manipulate the four classic elements in a process called bending. There are that four one I think is really the cool. Air Nomads, looking. the Fire Nation, the, Earth, the, Earth, the Earth Kingdom, and the Water Tribe. The Four Nations used to live in harmony, but everything Listen. changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Have I not led us to the she sounds exactly the like world under one rule, our rule. Innocent people are gonna die. That's what it means to fight a war. And the only person that could stop them is the Avatar. Where is the Avatar? The Avatar, if you've seen him around, he's the little bald kid with the arrow. It's me, the one person who can master all four elements. And it's his responsibility to stop the Fire Nation from conquering the world. Because of everything that the world has gone through, Aang is just a beacon of hope. If the world is going to have any chance, it's going to need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. The cast looks like you pulled them straight out of the original. My name is Gordon Cormier, and I'm yes. going to be playing Aang. He's a fun-loving 12-year-old who has a responsibility that he doesn't really want. How am I supposed to figure out how to save the world? But imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. My name is Gaon Dio, and I play Katara. She's a beginner waterbender, and she will fight to the ends of the earth for the people that she cares about. We do have a duty, and it's to protect Aang. My name is Ian Owsley, and I will be playing Grand Grand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm playing Sokka. He's given this responsibility. You're going to tell me that he's not perfect as Sokka. And he learns that you don't have to be a warrior to be a He has his personality down pat. I'll bring his place to the ground. My name is Dallas Lute, and I am playing Zuko. He is on the search for the Avatar. You're an enemy of the Fire Nation. He is just trying to fight for his father's attention and his approval. But his uncle, he's the only person that stuck by his side. My name is Paul Sun Hyung Lee, and I play Uncle Iroh on the show. He is a very complex character. He treats Zuko like his son. Have you got a plan yet? The plan is to go in and capture the Avatar once and for all. So no plan. I'm working on it, Uncle. Having a predominantly Asian group of people both in front of and behind the camera is significant. It looks really beautiful. For the longest time as Jesus. an actor of color, you don't get opportunities to play in these kinds of franchises. You have no idea how important that is and how many more voices people will find because of this. Here we go. Ready? Rolling. And I hope that fans say this is the live action adaptation that we've always wanted. Oh! Shooting this show has been the most memorable experience of my life. It's not the power inside. What matters is that was the in the cartoons. It's coming well. out of a place of love for who these people are that we're playing. It just felt surreal getting to work with people who are so passionate about this project and really doing it justice. We didn't make something that sort of alluded to it, but only took the title. We made Avatar The Last Airbender. The world is on fire. People are dying. There's a whole new generation of Was fans that Boomy's voice? introduced to this incredible world. I'm gonna save the world. 
with my friends. Time to fight. I maintain my stance that Kiwan Teal, uh, the actress who plays Katara, sounded exactly like Katara when she said everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. And and Ian Owsley, who plays Sokka, he has Sokka's personality nailed, you know, even outside of shooting the show. So I'm really pleased with this casting. Um, I wish Iroh, Iroh's voice was a bit more comforting. My only question now is if the, the actor for Iroh has the ability to fight because I don't think that this actor is known for that for for action movies because obviously Iroh is a very badass character in the cartoon and he's he's the dragon of the west but that remains to be seen people have so many issues with some of the changes that they have heard that the people behind this have done I'm really not worried because it really to me it seems like they understood the cartoon and that they're doing their best to make it work in hour long episodes you know you don't you have to remember that this the live action version is going to be hour long episodes one hour long episodes versus the cartoon which was 20 minute episodes okay and so in 20 minute episodes of or 20 minute helpings of a cartoon it's easier f to send the characters to side quests here side quests there in live action one hour long episodes not so much it would not make sense uh, i mean you would not feel coherent and it looks like they're still going to kiyoshi island and kiyoshi island is where Aang goes to ride the elephant koi so apparently they're still gonna go to some of these places like omashu where we meet bumi they're still gonna go to to these places and Aang's purpose for going to those places like riding the elephant koi or ride, riding the slides. Some of them might get modified or completely removed, but should that really matter? From what we've seen with Aang so far, he seems like he's still the exact same kid from the cartoon. Fun loving, um, he does not want the responsibility because he, he's a young kid. He's a young kid. It's a big responsibility to put on a young kid that he's the avatar because if you did not know or if you've forgotten somehow forgotten if you're a big fan of the cartoon traditionally they reveal that you're the avatar when you're 16 you know so your mind has already developed a bit more with Aang they were forced to tell him that he's the avatar when he was only 12 because there was a looming doom there was a looming doom there was a looming danger predicted by the monks and um, they had to reveal Aang his identity sooner than they would have liked because of the oncoming danger. So it's understandable that Aang does not want this sort of responsibility because also when they reveal that you're the avatar at 16, you have years and years and years to train for the other types of bending before you train to master the avatar state. But with Aang, everything is put on his lap and now he's just alone the people that he used to know is no longer around he's with a new set of people and trying to figure out how how to navigate this this responsibility that was basically forced upon him obviously he's still gonna be a kid in the live action version and he's still gonna love kid things and be childlike and stuff because we saw here that he was still trying to impress the kids with his air scooter and he, there was also a scene of him floating a spoon, you know, so there's still that element in Aang. And that's why I'm not so worried that they removed some of the, some of the extra stuff, like the elephant koi. Because outside of that, outside of the Warriors of Kiyoshi episode in the cartoon, we never see the elephant koi ever again. So what's the big deal with removing them? For as long as they don't go woke, and, and just completely butcher the essence of, of Avatar Last Airbender, we should really be fine. But yeah, so that was my rewatch of bringing the world to life of Avatar Last Airbender by Netflix. So if you like this video, please like, 
comment, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notifications to new uploads. This has been Liprecht. See you next video.